Hey guys, so you asked for it and here we are. Today, we'll make a simple Haneke so that we don't have our hand realistically floating around. Instead, we have the boring, fake looking, perfect hand placement of the likes of RDR2. We'll be going from this to this. So let's start breaking our code. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the product from the aim and shoot tutorial. In case you want to go through it, you can find the link down in the description. You don't really need to, but you should. But just in case, for those of you who haven't watched it, I will show you how to set up the rig here for the character. The first thing we need to make sure we have is, first of all, go over here to asset store, my assets. This is going to open up the package manager for you. Then go ahead and select unity registry. And over here are all of the default unity packages. What you want to look for is animation rigging. I already have it installed, but in your case, just go ahead and install it. As you can see here, I have my new character. Nothing is set up on it. What you want to do is select that character, go over to animation rigging, and you're going to go over to rig setup. Then you're going to go to animation rigging, bond render setup. And there you go. Our character is fully set up. Now onto the AK. This is actually probably the simplest part of the whole video. Not going to lie. First of all, you want to go over here where you have a rig set up, but in case you don't, you can just right click creating empty. And what you want to do is add the two bone IK constraint. Over here, we need to put the root, the mid, and the tip. This is going to be your shoulder, the elbow, and the hand. So go ahead and do that. By the way, in the case of the rig, is the left arm, the left forearm, and the left hand. For the target and hint, this is going to be the actual IK. So the target is going to be the position and rotation that the hand is going to pick. The hint is basically where the elbow is going to be pointing towards. For this, what we want to do is I'm going to go over here to the assault rifle. I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm going to call it hand IK target. Then create another empty game object within it. And we're going to call this hand IK hint. Well, you can lift the hint out of the target, but I recommend that you put it in. So if you move the target, the hint moves with it. The hint in my case, I'm going to bring it down to about here. This is like usually where the elbow would be pointing to. Then for the hand IK, I just have to place it where it should go, the hand. So somewhere around here. If we go ahead now and select the rig, we're going to have the target and hint. Go ahead and assign both. I'm going to close over these settings quite quickly. Basically, target position weight is whether or not it targets the position. Target rotation weight is whether or not it puts the rotation on this object. And the hint is whether or not it uses the elbow hint or it just takes from the animation. As you can see now, our hand is actually targeting it, but you can see that the rotation and the position is a little bit off. Hey, if you're liking the video so far, why not drop a like and subscribe? Also, comment on what you'd like to see next. The video was a subscriber request, so who knows? Maybe yours is next. In order to fix this, we want to first drag our hint out so we're not rotating it. And then we want to select our IK target. And this is what we're going to move. First, let's adjust the rotation. Then go ahead and adjust the position. So you can see this is about the right part for me. But you can also see that I'm having some issues with the elbow. So all we got to do is move the hint around. And there we go. Our elbow is fixed. What you want to do next is actually grab the values from the IK hint and the target. This values over here, these are mine. So if you want to use them, you can go ahead and do it. And basically we're just going to unpause the game and copy them over. And as you can see, our floating hand is gone and we're left with the boring, perfect hand placement. So if you found the video helpful, please subscribe. Now I'm off to break bound code.